This is the video for the morning of January, Wednesday, January the 13th. Uh, what we're looking at now is the opposite of a concave mirror. We're going to look at a convex mirror, where a concave mirror was the cave or opening in a circle. This mirror is the outer edge of a circle here called a convex mirror. Now, if you shine a ray of light parallel to the principal axis, it will reflect away due to the curvature of the mirror and it will reflect away from the focal point. Remember, the focal point is the distance that's halfway from the center of the curvature or the center of the circle to the edge of the mirror. So it's going to go that way. Once again, take any ray of light at a convex mirror it will always reflect directly away from the focal point like this. If you extended the virtual rays, because light can't pass through a mirror, but if you extended the rays backwards, also called extrapolation, it will extrapolate right through this point right here. Now, if we want to see what images look like when we look in a convex mirror, and, and we've all seen convex mirrors before, because if you're in a supermarket or um, a corner store and you look at a security mirror, they are convex because it allows you to see a larger area. So if somebody is standing right here, so this is our person, the first line we can draw is parallel to the principal axis, straight to the mirror. It reflects away from the mirror. Extend your virtual line backwards. That's your first drawing. So parallel to the principal axis, away from the focal point, and then extend it or extrapolate it backwards. Now, our next line that we can draw take your object. Aim straight at the center of curvature. This ray of light will bounce back on itself. So it'll hit the mirror and it'll come right back at itself. If we line that up and draw the virtual line backwards, we will get this. Okay? The last line that we're going to draw on a convex mirror is we aim directly at the focal point. We aim from the top of the object directly at the focal point. And then we stop. This line will go straight back parallel to the principal axis. If you take that line and you extend it backwards, virtually, this is our third line. Students who have difficulty drawing these three types of lines, I think the problem is they don't break it down enough. So what you have to do is you have to go back over this video a couple of times and go step by step until you can do all three of these lines. Remember. In any ray diagram, you only need two of these. So let's take a look at what we've got. We'll try and do a drawing. Most of these drawings end up pretty similar. So they're usually all pretty much the same. So we're going to go across to the mirror, which means it reflects away from the focal point. And then we extend that backwards virtually. Remember, it's called virtual because it doesn't really exist. So we're extending this line backwards behind the mirror. Now I'm going to do the one where I go from the top straight towards the center of curvature. That bounces straight back on itself. And then I extend that backwards virtually through the center of curvature. There's where my image is. Salt. 
the size is smaller, the attitude is upright, so the image is smaller than the object. It is upright, so the arrow's pointing up. Because the light's coming off the arrowhead, the top of the arrowhead, that's where you draw your image, where, that, where the light rays converge. Location, it's behind the mirror. Type, it is virtual. This is not a real image. It's made by artificial rays that extend back behind the mirror. This is your morning session. You've got four drawings to complete. Take a picture of those four drawings and upload them and make sure you understand all of the lines that you have to do to get these drawings to work. Good luck.